One thing that a lot of search engines use to help understand your website is something called the sitemap. Now this is different from a sitemap that you use in the design process and also different from a sitemap that's intended for users. This sitemap is specifically intended for robots and search engines. You can see I've created a new file here named sitemap.xml and there's just a little bit of boilerplate code that we need to put in. So the version of XML that we're using and then here we have a tag called URL set that points to the sitemap schema. Now what happens in here, this is where the important information goes. So every page on your site should be listed inside here. So we're going to start with a URL tag like this. And inside that, the only thing that's required is something called the loc, so the location of it. So let's say that this is our chocolatier's website and it's actually online. So we would have to put the full URL in here, something like https colon slash slash chocolatiers.ca slash. So that would link to the homepage. Beyond, um, Beyond the location, there's a few other optional things that we can put in here. One is the priority, like this. So by default, that's 0 0.5, but you can go up to 1.0 or just one. So the home page is really important to me, so I'm going to change the priority. We also have something called the change frequency, which is just a, a keyword that's specified by the sitemap schema as to how often this page changes. So you can do like hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. I think that's all. Uh, there might be a couple more. So you can define uh, how often this page changes. So let's go with weekly because maybe there's weekly specials and we want to encourage um, search engines to come back and, and uh, read our website on a weekly basis. So this is not going to force them to come back, it's just going to encourage them. And one more thing is last mod, where you can put the date that this page was last modified. So 2015, 08, 29 kind of thing. So these three th here are completely optional, but they are good to put in. I often uh, put in priority and change frequency, but I almost never put last modified in. So our page here actually only has two pages. It has the index we've got, and then the chocolate goods page. So let's create another URL here for the chocolate goods page. All right, and that's all I need to do to put the second page in. I could put priority if I wanted, but 0.5 is probably acceptable. So here is my sitemap for uh, this website. And as soon as your website is live at a real domain, you can take this sitemap and submit it to Webmaster Tools that Google and Bing provide for you. And it just encourages them to spider your site. If your website is really small, then you probably would create your sitemap manually like this. But most often, sitemaps are generated automatically. So let me show you the sitemap for Learn the Web. This is what it is here. You can see it's got a link for every single page on the website, but I don't create this myself. The tool that creates the website, which I'm using right now, Jekyll, I actually get Jekyll to generate the sitemap automatically for me. So I don't make it myself, but it exists anyways. So a sitemap is a good thing to have on your website.